Speaking of campaign promises, this was Donald Trump talking about taxes back in February. Lowering the overall tax burden on American business is big league. That's coming along very well. Uh, we're way ahead of schedule. In fact, that very day was February 9th. President Trump said, give us two to three weeks and we'll announce it. We'll announce a tax reform, at least plan or idea. Nine weeks later, we do not have it. And now here's what he told Fox Business and Maria Bartiromo yesterday. I don't want to put deadlines. Health care is going to happen at some point. Now, if it doesn't happen fast enough, I'll start the taxes. But the tax reform and the tax cuts are better if I can do health care first. Let's bring in political veterans from both sides of the spectrum. Former Republican Senator from Florida, George Lemieux, and former Democratic Governor of South Carolina, Jim Hodges. Uh, gentlemen, welcome. Look, on the complication scale, health care has proven to be very, very high. Senator Lemieux, simply from the congressional kumbaya standpoint, isn't there a better shot to pass a tax plan first? I'm not so sure, Liz. Uh, taxes are hard, too. We haven't had comprehensive tax reform in this country since 1986. I think they're going to get health care done. Right now, the Freedom Caucus leaders are meeting with Speaker Ryan. We only need about 10 or 11 votes to come off of those opponents in the House to get this done. Then it'll go to the Senate. So I think that there's a chance. If they can't get agreement from the Freedom Caucus, my view would be that they should just set up a straight repeal vote mm -hmm. with a 2018 effective date which would then put pressure on Congress to get things done. So I think health care can get done. Then they can turn to taxes. They need to get it done by August, really. Congress needs deadlines. They need pressure points. Right. The August recess is always a, a pressure point. So if they can get health care done here in the next month, they can turn to taxes and hopefully get that done by the August recess. Um, and, and we're pushing tax reform because as a business network, we've seen sentiment skyrocket on the hope that we would see this. In fact, Fitch, the ratings agency yesterday, uh, reaffirmed the U.S. rating of AAA because they said, you know what, eventually we'll get tax reform, hopefully sooner rather than later, I would think. But um, uh, Governor Hodges, from the Democratic standpoint, would you as a Democrat, if you were in Congress, look at tax reform and say, uh, this I could work on. Right now, Obamacare is too testy, but this I could look at. Well, first of all, I think this is proof that this stuff is hard, as, they, as we like to say about uh, big projects like this. Uh, President Trump has uh, strong majorities in the Senate and the House and still could not get health care across the finish line. Uh, so it certainly weakens his hand on dealing with issues like tax, re tax reform. My own view is that uh, infrastructure coupled with tax reform is something that ought to be done, but President Trump's got to decide whether or not he wants to deal with the Freedom Caucus or he wants to deal with moderate Democrats in trying to get a plan passed. I believe that if he is willing to work with you know, moderate mm -hmm. Democrats and business leaders that he can put a but, plan together that addresses infrastructure and tax reform, but he's going to have to be willing to do that. Senator Lemieux, that's not the, what the president told Fox Business. He, he specifically said he wants to weave in or, or pair health care with infrastructure and with taxes. Is that, is that realistic? Uh, you know, look, the president is flexible and he's going to negotiate based on the events. I'm not worried about him being the flexible. Moment. He does the art of the deal. I have no concerns about him. It's Congress. I mean, you've got Kevin Brady now, the House Ways and uh, Means Committee chair. He was tweeting, uh, vote now. We're ready here. Uh, the GOP has a bold plan for tax reform. It's simpler. It's fairer. Make sure you retweet if you agree. So now you've got all of them saying, Let, let's go with tax reform. No, that's right. And tax reform is doable. The House Ways and Means Committee has the tax plan. They're ready to go and vote it out of committee and send it over to the Senate. I think that's an easier vote mm -hmm. uh, than the health care bill because it's the, it's the replace part of repeal and, and replace. It's difficult. But I think they've got a chance right now on health care in the next couple of weeks. If you get to, say, Memorial Day and you don't have anything done on health care, then I think you have to go and just switch to taxes and try to get that done. Governor Hodges, uh, in South Carolina, your state, how, how are the states going to handle what could be a change in health care that leaves a lot of decision making up to states? Not very well. I, I don't think states are particularly well equipped for this. I, I think if you privately talk to most governors, they express concerns that what we'll get with uh, Medicaid reform in particular will be 
that uh, we will get less money, but in the long run, we will still get the, the old rules that the federal government put in place about spending. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, flexibility is one thing, but if you get but but if you get flexibility that eventually goes away, then all of the savings from health care uh, will be minimized for state governments. Gotcha. I, I think governors are very concerned. Former Senator George Lemieux, former Governor Jim Hodges, so great to have you guys on the program. Thank you.